got a blended color kind of aura What's up guys, it's your girl Brianna aka Mini Marley and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I achieved this beautiful flexi rod set on stretched natural hair. So as you can see my hair is already completely blow dried and that's because I just finished cutting my hair. If you haven't seen my DIY diva cut go ahead and click the link that just popped on the screen. But I decided to cut my hair again because I wanted to even it out some and basically go a little bit shorter to get rid of all of the damaged ends so that I can now start growing it again. So the those are the flexi rods that I'm going to be using today. I picked those up at a local beauty supply store and I decided to get some extra orange ones because those are the main ones that I'm going to use in the middle of my hair. Now for products, I'm using the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie, my all-time favorite product, you guys already know, and a little bit of the Jane Carter Solutions Complex 4 Replenish and Repair Oil. And it's just a nice oil that works great with the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie, so I'm going to be mixing those together. Now, as you can see, I started on this first section, and let me tell you, this took me like 10 minutes, guys. I was really struggling until I came up with a great technique for beginners. So here it is. First, you're going to start by wetting the ends of your hair. I like to do this because when you roll dry your hair, the ends are really blunt, and it's hard to wrap them around the flexi rod and get them to stay. So go ahead and wet the end, and then saturate it with product, like I'm doing here, and then take a little bit more product and apply it through the whole section making sure that that part stays dry. Now as you can see when I comb out the ends, it curls really nicely which is perfect. That's exactly what you're looking for. So I'm just going to go ahead and place the flexi rod at the base of this section and then wrap the hair around the flexi rod. That is the easiest way to get this done. Then you're going to go ahead and secure that flexi rod and make sure that the end of it is nice and secure between the crease where you fold the flexi rod. So let me show you that one more time. Let's break it down girl, I got you. This is how much I've done so far and I'm going to move to this next section at the front. So once I've parted off my section, I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of water to the end of this section and a little bit of product. Then I'm applying some more product down the entire section, making sure that everything is nice and moisturized. Now place the flexi rod at the base of the section and twirl the hair onto the flexi rod, making sure that you're twisting the section as you twist onto the flexi rod, as you can see me doing. Now I'm making sure that the end is nice and secure right where I fold the flexi rod so that it cannot come loose and then I'm just securing the other side by folding it as well and that is how you're gonna get the perfect result so I'm just gonna go ahead and repeat this throughout my entire head making sure that the ends are nice and saturated and moisturized and everything is secure Just make sure that you take your time with this. It can be a little frustrating at first, but if you practice this technique, I promise you will definitely get this job done. Let's get out of here. We can go. Now that all of my flexi rods are installed, I'm just applying a large silk scarf and I'm just going to sleep on that overnight and take it down in the morning. Once your flexi rods are completely dry, all you have to do is unfold them as you can see me doing here and then wind it out of your hair in the direction that the curl is going, making sure that you don't cause any frizz. So as you can see, I'm just opening the flexi rod and then winding it out of my hair and the curls are bomb. My hair is nice and shiny and as you can see, even though I added a little bit of water to the ends of each section the hair overall is still nice and stretched and my curls look great and especially at the ends so now it's time to separate and I'm just taking my time making sure that I don't cause any frizz there will be frizz but just do your best to take your time so that you don't cause too much and then I'm also just going to blow dry just at the root in the front because I accidentally styled this hair with a middle part but I love my hair to the side. So I'm just helping my hair stay to the side and then I'm going to slick down my edges with a little bit of gel, fluff it out just a tiny bit and here are my final results. I hope you guys really like it and are able to do it yourself at home and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.